guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today, me and my little man, he's actually a big man, he's 14, we are going to be testing out some viral TikTok foods. We are going to be making the infamous cloud bread, which fingers crossed, it comes out amazing and then also tastes amazing because it looks so cool. We're also going to be making a quesadilla and we're going to be using a little hack to make that. We're going to be making some Parmesan crisps and also some Cheeto encrusted mozzarella circles because we're using baby bell cheese. I appropriately have my just here for the snacks shirt on and let's do this. I'm so excited we're gonna start out with the cloud bread. So fingers crossed it comes out good. Oh, before I begin, if you guys are new here, please subscribe, like this video. If you guys wanna see more viral TikTok food videos let me know and i'll be more than happy to do them now let's get to it so for the cloud bread you're going to need three egg whites 10 grams of cornstarch and 30 grams and of sugar 30 grams of sugar which is going to be two tablespoons of sugar what you're going to want to do is take your egg whites put in the sugar put in the cornstarch you want to mix with a hand mixer or whatever you have until the egg whites stick to the bowl and then you're going to put it on a cookie sheet, put it in the oven. I currently have it preheating at 315, but you want to cook it for 30 minutes. And fingers crossed, it comes out good because I've seen some of these go both ways. Some come out good, some come out a hot mess. So fingers crossed, ours comes out good. Now let's do this. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done on my drink at this page Okay, so we've been, uh, I guess, beating it with the hand mi mixer for about maybe about three minutes. This is what it okay, should look like. Minutes. It should not basically be watery at all. So it yeah. just looks like that. We're about to put it on some foil and bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at 315. You want to take it out with a spatula and just kind of have it looking like a cloud, I guess. Next, we are going to be making, are you ready for this one? Quesadillas in. Ready for it? The toaster. So all you're gonna need is obviously a toaster, some flour tortillas, and some shredded cheese. You fold it up, put it in the toaster, and you have a nice toasty quesadilla. So, here is our quesadilla. It did get a little burnt from the first time. That's not a big deal because the rest of it is toasted and the cheese is definitely melted. I'm going to like wait for this to cool off a little bit before I kind of show you the cheesy ooziness. One, two, three, cheers. It's crunchy. It's actually really good in a pinch. I would much prefer still to like have some butter in a pan and crisp it up in a pan. But in a crunch, I would say yeah. I mean honestly it literally just tastes like a flour tortilla and cheese. But it's got it. a little bit of crunch with it. 
But I would definitely, for sure, prefer it in a pan. What would you say? Mm -hmm. Crisp up in a pan versus this way. But, I mean, it's not bad. Now, I have both of my babies with me, and they don't look like babies at all because they're... Are you taller than me? In frame. It's because I'm closer. This is not right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am the star of the show. Mm -hmm. um, so, next, we're going to make... Cheeto encrusted baby bell cheese. So you're just gonna need a baby bell cheese. You're gonna need some eggs to you know kind of beat them up because you're going to put the cheese into the egg, crush up your Cheetos. I have a bag right here crushed up, and then you're going to take cheese, egg, Cheeto, put it into an air fryer. We're gonna do it about 350 for five minutes and see how that works. And we are most excited about this one in addition to the cod bread. So hopefully, we already know they're gonna come out good. I mean, come on. Cheetos and cheese, can it get any better than that? I mean, don't think so. Don't think so. So as you could see from the video on the screen, the TikTok video, I forgot to add flowers. So go by that, not by how I did it. I wanna be a week. Be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers you love, you love, you love. I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number you love, you love, you love. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine I'll show me what you can do The way my hands feel on your body all right, so number one tip with an air fryer is always keep your eye on your food. We're good to go, so keep it going. We got two more minutes. Two minutes left. Oh no! I was trying to catch them before they did that. But they smell really good. We are so excited to try these. So I'm gonna get this one. Oh, they smell so good, you guys. Ah, cheers. It's really good. Ah, uh, y'all. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all. Mm. This right here, would you say this is better than a- um, Oh my gosh. Than a mozzarella stick? We could try mozzarella sticks coated with this next. I mean, it'll be the same thing. Oh, you guys! Oh, you can't see it because it's all clouded. Oh, this looks so good! Okay, so here's the cloud bread. The whole thing with the cloud bread is I don't think it really tastes that great. I don't think that people are like, oh my gosh, this is like an amazing tasting bread. It's all about the satisfying, like it's satisfying to see it kind of rip open and it looks like um, what's that stuff you guys love that you get at the fair and I get for you guys every cotton Easter? Candy? Cotton candy. It looks oh. like cotton candy on the inside. So it's not supposed to be taste. It's more an aesthetic thing. Ours, first of all, let me just show you. It has kind of flattened out a little bit. And it's also kind of sticking to the bottom. Oh, no. But we're going to see. Oh, my gosh. What? I don't think it's going to because it's, what? to me, it's kind of Okay, hold on. And it's wet. Too. So, it's supposed to be wet. let's do this. Oh! oh, it worked, you guys. You guys see how cool that is? They can't really, like, that camera. <laughs> it smells legit like egg whites, so I don't think it's going to taste good. But do you guys see how cool that is? Oh, it does smell like egg white. Who wants to taste it? I'll try. All right, we're all going to be brave and taste it. It's literally so sticky. Is it supposed to be sticky? Yeah. Okay, let's Ooh. do this. Cheers. Oh, it smells good, though. It actually tastes pretty good. Oh. Mm. It's not bad. It does taste like this is mine. And it's like... It's fluffy. It's definitely not bread, but it's good. You can taste the eggs, but you can also taste the sugar still. So. 
It tastes like a funky egg. Okay, so last but not least, we are making, what did he call them? Parmesan, Parmesan crisps. Parmesan crisps. But you're just gonna need some Parmesan cheese. The guy in the video actually freshly grated his, but I don't really like to do that, so. I do. We're just gonna take the short cut. Oh, actually, we were going to. We were looking for it and we couldn't yeah. find it. That's why. I feel like it might be better if you actually shred it because, like, this Parmesan cheese is kind of like hard. Like, it does. I, I mean, it has it has things other like it has things in there. It's not just fresh Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Like, it's it has kind of stuff to help put to to um, preserve and preserve and prevent it from nicer. caking. So basically, you're just going to kind of put them. In little like clumps, I guess. You just want to get like um like a handful. Yeah. Kind of put it on there, and then Wait, you're gonna put one. these. One. You're gonna put these in the oven at 400 for three to five minutes. So they just came out of the oven. I cooked them for five, the full five minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool off and then we'll taste test them and see how they taste. Okay, so they're just, they're super easy to get off. You just kind of take the foil and just, it pops right off. So we are going to taste them, ready? Cheers first. They're not super crispy. I feel like we made them too high. Like I said, I personally have had these before. I think they'll go really good in things like soup or something like that. I would definitely not make them so high. As, as you can see, this part where it's crispy, that's where it's good. It's like when you get into this part where it's like a little more thick. And it's like... Mm. it's not as good so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again if you did please give it a thumbs up if you guys are new here please subscribe I do crock pot videos uh, weekly vlogs get ready with me try on videos I've been kind of dabbling a little bit in some styling videos so definitely stick around I would love to do more TikTok um, food trying if you guys are interested so if you are please comment down below also comment down below and let me know if you guys are going to try any of these or if you have. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.